Hi everyone, this is the last class of Physics 2019 question papers. From tomorrow, we will be discussing formulae and how to use them in examinations along with example problems of those formulae. So, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video will be uploaded. Please don't forget to like and share with your friends. So, let us start with question. In this question, it is said that there is a metal plate of 2 mm thickness and its area is this one so this plate is of 2 mm thickness and its surface area is 36 pi centimeter square is slide into a parallel plate capacitor of plate spacing 6 mm it means that there is a parallel plate capacitor like this and the space between these two is 6 mm and area is same as this plate the metal place is at 3 mm distance from one of the plates it means that this plate is 3 mm distance from one of the plate we have to find what is the capacitance of this total arrangement see if this is 3 mm and this is 2 mm so this will be 1 mm so this is d1 and this is d2 okay d1 is equals to 3 and d2 is equals to 1 now if you look at the circuit diagram of this capacitor the equivalent capacitance is given by this expression c equivalent is equals to c1 c2 upon c1 and c2 we know that c1 is given by e0 a d1 that is area is this one and d this one and same for C2 area is same and D2 will be changed so D2 is equals to 1 if you substitute these into this expression you will be getting this one if you simplify this one this D1 and D2 D1 and D2 will be cancelled out and remaining term will be A0 A upon D1 and D2 now we know all the values so we can substitute now see this E0 is given here indirectly in question which says let 1 by 4 pi upon A0 is equals to 9 into 10 power 9. Now I am taking this E0 to this side and the total other remaining terms to this side. So it will become 1 upon 4 pi into 9 into 10 power 9. Now if you substitute the values you will be getting 1 upon 4 pi into 10 power 9 th this term and 36 pi that is area is equals to 36 pi into 10 power 4 and 3 into 10 power minus 3 plus so this 3 is this distance see this one and this one is this distance okay hope it is clear now i am giving time to take screenshot don't worry i remove this all this ink and you can take a screenshot of this one now you can take screenshot of this question see this is 3 this is 2 and this is 1 d1 and d2 now it is perfect take a screenshot now let us move on to next question see in this question it is said that if the resistance are chosen for the circuit given below in such a way that no current flows through the battery emf1 so here there should not be any current flows then we have to find v2 across r2 see where is r2 here and we have to find the voltage here and the current i3 flowing through the r3 it means that r3 is here we have to find the current flowing through this resistance so we know that see these are the options given if you simplify this one you will be getting this one see r1 plus r4 you will be getting here and see i1 see this is i1 flowing here and this is i3 okay let us solve the problem you know that voltage current relation is given by v is equals to i r so v is given that is 2 and i3 is unknown we have to calculate that one and r is given that is 2 ohms see in this figure it is given r3 is equals to 2 ohms if you substitute you will be getting i3 is equals to 1 a if you look into the options i3 is equals to 1 is only in option 3 
so directly you can put on this answer but it's better if you have time calculate v2 if not you can directly put the value to save the time and calculate any other tough questions now let us calculate v2 calculate v2 v2 is given by minus i3 r2 we have vab that is voltage across ab is given by 5 minus i3 r2 which is equals to 2 into 5 minus 1 into r2 see i3 we know r2 we have to calculate this one we know vb is given that is 2 so r2 is equals to 3 ohms now if i substitute in this equation it will be v2 is equals to minus 3 into 1 that is minus 3 volts so this is the final answer now if you look at in the options you will be getting option number 3 as right answer okay now let us move on to next question in this question it is said that there is a semicircular loop like this and the radius is 30 centimeter and it carries current of 6 amperes uni and uniform magnetic field 0.5 t is present perpendicular to the plane of the loop then what is the magnitude of force exerted on the wire we know that the magnitude of force exerted on the wire is calculated as f is equals to i into l into b into sin theta see this theta is indirectly given by saying perpendicular perpendicular stands for 90 degrees so now we know all the values if you substitute i is equals to given that is 6 and l given and sin theta we know that is sin 90 is 1 if you substitute the values you will be getting 1.8 newtons this is the simplest question asked in mz 2019 now let us move on to next problem in this question it is said that the earth's magnetic field at the geometric poles root 10 into 10 power minus 5 t the magnitude of the field at a point on the earth's surface where the radius makes an angle theta with the axis of earth's assumed magnetic dipole is 5 into 10 power minus 5 let us consider the directions and it is given that this assumed see this is assumed dipole which makes some certain angle theta we have to find this angle theta and this bv is given and this br is also given br is equals to 5 into 10 power minus 5 t is given we know that from trigonometry cos theta is equals to adjacent upon hypotenuse so bb upon br is equals to cos theta if you substitute the values bv is equals to root 10 into 10 power minus 5 and br is equals to 5 into 10 power minus 5 you will be getting root 2 upon root 5 which is approximately theta is equals to 45 in this question it is said that consider a current in a circuit falls from 6 amperes to 1 amperes difference between the current is given in time 0.2 seconds if average emf is 150 watts then we have to find the self inductance of the circuit we know that average emf induced in conductor is given by e is equals to l into i1 minus i2 upon upon time taken we want this value of l that is self inductance so i am taking the delta t to lhs and i1 minus i2 also to lhs it will become l is equals to e into delta t upon i1 minus i2 we know the value of that is given in question that is 150v and we know time also that is given 0.2 seconds i1 minus i2 is this 6 amperes minus 1 ampere if you substitute here you will be getting l is equals to 6 h so option 2 is right answer thank you for watching the video please share with your friends especially in whatsapp groups of your college your friends also be benefited by this video thank you for watching